Theanine, also known as L-gamma glutamylethylamide and N5-ethyl L-glutamine, is an amino acid analog of the proteinogenic amino acids L-glutamate and L-glutamine and is found primarily in particular plant and fungal species. It was discovered as a constituent of green tea in 1949 and in 1950 was isolated from gyokuro leaves. Theanine provides a unique brothy or savory umami flavor to green tea infusions. The name, theanine, without a prefix generally implies the enantiomer L-theanine, which is the form found in tea leaves and is a dietary supplement ingredient. Most studies have used L-theanine. The opposite enantiomer, D-theanine, has been studied less. The regulatory status of theanine varies by country. In Japan, L-theanine has been approved for use in all foods, including herb teas, soft drinks, desserts, etc. Restrictions apply to infant foods. In the United States, the Food and Drug Administration FDA considers it to be generally recognized as safe and allows its sale as a dietary supplement. The German Federal Institute for Risk Assessment, an agency of their Federal Ministry of Food and Agriculture, objects to the addition of L-theanine to beverages. The European Food Safety Authority EFSA advised negatively on health claims related to L-theanine and cognitive function, alleviation of psychological stress, maintenance of normal sleep, and reduction of menstrual discomfort. Therefore, health claims for L-theanine are prohibited in the European Union. Topic: <laughs> Structure and properties. The chemical name N5-ethyl-L-glutamine and other synonyms see box for theanine reflect its chemical structure. The name theanine, without prefix, is generally understood to imply the L-S enantiomer, derived from the related proteinogenic L-amino acid glutamic acid. Theanine is an analogue of this amino acid, and its primary amide, L-glutamine also a proteinogenic amino acid. Theanine is a derivative of glutamine that is ethylated on the amide nitrogen as the name N5-ethyl-L-glutamine describes, or alternatively, to the amide formed from ethylamine and L-glutamic acid at its gamma side-chain carboxylic acid group as the name gamma-L-glutamylethylamide describes. Relative to theanine, the opposite D -R enantiomer is largely absent from the literature, except implicitly. While natural extracts that are not harshly treated are presumed to contain only the biosynthetic L enantiomeric form, mishandled isolates and racemic chemical preparations of theanines necessarily contain both theanine and its D enantiomer and from racemic syntheses, in equal proportion, and studies have suggested that the D isomer may actually predominate in some commercial supplement preparations. Amino acid racemization in aqueous media is a well-established chemical process promoted by elevated temperature and non-neutral pH values, prolonged heating of camellia extracts—possible for oversteeped teas and in undisclosed commercial preparative processes—has been reported to result in increasing racemization of theanine to give increasing proportions of the non-natural d-theanine, up to equal proportions of each enantiomer. Discovery and distribution Theanine is found primarily in plant and fungal species. It was discovered as a constituent of T in 1949 and in 1950, a laboratory in Kyoto successfully isolated it from gyokuro leaf, which has high theanine content. Theanine is substantially present in black, green, and white teas from Camellia sinensis in quantities of about 1% of the dry weight. Deliberately shading tea plants from direct sunlight, as is done for matcha and gyokuro green tea, increases L-theanine content. The L-enantiomer is the form found in freshly prepared teas and some, but not all, human dietary supplements. <laughs> <laughs> Digestion and metabolism As a structural analog of glutamate and glutamine, the theanine in preparations teas, pure supplements, etc. is absorbed in the small intestine after oral ingestion, its hydrolysis to L-glutamate and ethylamine occur both in the intestine and liver. It can also cross the blood-brain barrier intact, and register pharmacological effects directly. Pharmacology. <laughs> <laughs> Topic. Pharmacodynamics 
Theanin is structurally similar to the excitatory neurotransmitter glutamate, and in accordance, binds to glutamate receptors, though with much lower affinity in comparison. Specifically, it binds to ionotropic glutamate receptors in the micromolar range, including the AMPA and kinate receptors and, to a lesser extent, the NMDA receptor. It acts as an antagonist of the former two sites and as an agonist of the latter site. Theanin also binds to group 1 Mg lures. In addition, it inhibits glutamine transporters and glutamate transporters, and thus blocks the reuptake of glutamine and glutamate. Lastly, theanin elicits umami taste, and this effect has been found to be a consequence of the fact that it directly binds to and activates the T1R1 plus T1R3 heterodimer or umami savory taste receptor. Theanin increases serotonin, dopamine, GABA, and glycine levels in various areas of the brain, as well as BDNF and NGF levels in certain brain areas. However, its effect on serotonin is still a matter of debate in the scientific community, with studies showing increases and decreases in brain serotonin levels using similar experimental protocols. It has also been found that injecting spontaneously hypertensive mice with theanin significantly lowered levels of 5-hydroxyindoles in the brain. Researchers also speculate that it may inhibit glutamate excitotoxicity. Effects Able to cross the blood-brain barrier, theanin has reported psychoactive properties. Theanin has been studied for its potential ability to reduce mental and physical stress, improve cognition, and boost mood and cognitive performance in a synergistic manner with caffeine. A natural standard monograph that reviews current research on theanin reports that it is likely safe in doses of 200 to 250 mg up to a maximum daily dose of 1,200 mg. Though some people use theanin for these purposes, Natural Standard rates the evidence to support the usage for anxiety reduction, blood pressure control, and mood improvement as unclear or conflicting scientific evidence, and the evidence for improved cognition as fair negative scientific evidence. Many of the studies of theanin were done in combination with caffeine as found in tea. While the studies found that the combination had some effect on mood, the studies found that theanin alone had little effect. A review by other researchers of a small set of trials concluded that there are benefits of L-theanin in reducing acute stress and anxiety in people with stressful conditions. <inaudible> <inaudible> Supplement use In 2001, the German Federal Institute for Risk Assessment Bundesinstitut für Risikobewertung, BFR, objected to the addition of isolated theanin to beverages. The institute stated the amount of theanin consumed by regular drinkers of tea or coffee is virtually impossible to determine. While it was estimated the quantity of green tea consumed by the average Japanese tea drinker per day contains about 20 mg of the substance, there are no studies measuring the amount of theanin being extracted by typical preparation methods, or the percentage lost by discarding the first infusion. Therefore, with the Japanese being exposed to possibly much less than 20 mg per day, and Europeans presumably even less, it was the opinion of the BFR that pharmacological reactions to drinks typically containing 50 mg of theanin per 500 ml could not be excluded. Reactions such as impairment of psychomotor skills and amplification of the sedating effects of alcohol and hypnotics. In 2006, a study found no consistent, statistically significant treatment related adverse effects on behavior, morbidity, mortality, body weight, food consumption and efficiency, clinical chemistry, hematology, or urinalysis in rats fed high doses of theanin for 13 weeks. Large studies in humans have not been undertaken, however, several smaller scale studies fewer than 100 participants have shown increased alpha wave generation and lowered anxiety, along with benefits to sleep quality in people with ADHD. The combination of theanin and caffeine has been shown to promote faster simple reaction time, faster numeric working memory reaction time and improved sentence verification accuracy. Due to this, the combination has become popular over recent years as a nootropic supplement typically found in the form of a pill, drink, or gum. Theanin has been reported to raise levels of brain serotonin, dopamine, and GABA, with possible improvement in specific memory and learning tasks. In brewed tea bags 
A study of tea bags sold in British supermarkets in 2011 found that the tea bags sold in British supermarkets containing the most L-theanin per cup, 24 mg versus 8 mg per cup, were the cheaper brands of black tea, with Sainsbury's own brand of black tea bags having the highest theanin content. The study demonstrates that brewing time was not a significant factor in L-theanin extraction from the brewed tea, with most theanin extracted within a short period of time. Addition of sugar and small quantities of milk make no significant difference, while larger quantities of milk reduced theanin content. See also Gamma glutamylmethylamide Green tea Notes and references Further reading Y. Orihara, T. Furia Production of theanin and other gamma-glutamyl derivatives by Camellia sinensis cultured cells. Plant Cell Reports, 9 65–68. doi, 10.1007, bf00231550. PMID 24226431. E. K. Keenan, M. D. A. Finney, P. S. Jones, P. J. Rogers, C. M. Priestley 2011. How much theanin in a cup of tea? Effects of tea type and method of preparation. Food Chemistry. 125 588–594. Doi 10.1016/j.foodchem.2010.08071